Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to take notes on any Samsung tablet. So you can watch this guide on any tablet, however here's the thing right, first of all one of the apps shown in this video is only available for the Samsung tablets and the second thing is if I just show you right here, this S Pen makes your note taking experience far better. You can use one of these, these touch balls, let's say you lost your S Pen or obviously you don't have a tablet with in the S Pen you can see it acts as like a touch screen thing however you're not going to get the same experience with the S Pen so for this guide I will be showing two note taking applications Note Shelf and Samsung Notes of course if you don't have a Samsung tablet and you're watching this for some reason you can't use Samsung Notes so I'm going to start with Note Shelf there'll be timestamps down below and uh, yeah let's get right into it let's start off with uh, Note Shelf again if you want to see Samsung Notes timestamp down below so first of all when it comes to the Note Shelf application you need to understand how to use the app so let's just go uh, to uh, the application itself and so you can see here we have a categories and if you tap on the plus here you can create a brand new category so let's just create uh, a brand new category real quick so we'll just do like this done create and you can see now we have essentially a folder where we can put all our notes so let's say you are a student you can have each folder for each subject if you don't want to create folders you can always just go to my notes here and all of your uh, notebooks will be in one place so you do not need to create a folder in order to just create a notebook now, all we need to do is we just need to tap on the plus here in order to create a notebook. So let's just tap on it here. You can see we have quick create. Uh, if we uh, tap into settings here, you can change uh, all of, you know, how your uh, page is going to look. So if you do want to do this, which I do recommend personally, you can obviously customize this. I do recommend you don't use a plain document. Instead, use a ruled on, uh, right here. We'll go back and then we'll just tap on quick create like so. You also do have the option for a new notebook, import documents, this could be a PDF scan or a, another, uh, whatever this application is called, note shelf uh, document, you can import a photo or scan documents. So let's just tap on quick create here and you can see it has created a brand new document. So first of all, uh, all we need to do is we need to learn how to use this application. So you see that look here, uh, how it works is uh, initially you can navigate, you know, using your fingers, all that good stuff. And when you want to take a note, what you need to do is you need to lock the page. And when you lock the page, uh, what it will do is you can still swipe around, but you can't zoom in and out, right? And so this is useful because if you want to take your notes, your yes pen out, right around, and you can see it's not, you know, zooming in, zooming out on the page. Now, what we need to do is we just need to do a simulated, you know, uh, zoom and zoom out and you get the lock. You can tap on that to unlock. So when you are taking notes, you want to make sure that you are in the lock state because sometimes when you are taking notes, your palm will accidentally zoom in, zoom out the uh, screen. So it's just something to keep in mind. Now you do have the uh, tool itself. So if you tap on it, uh, you can see we have a bunch of options here. So we can change the uh, size of the pen. We can change the uh, pen type and we can change the color here as well. If you swipe across, you do have more options. Then we have the highlighter tool. So this is used to highlight stuff. So you can see here, you know, highlight all that good stuff. If we tap on it, we do have the same customization. Then we have the eraser, and that can be used to erase stuff. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, is you don't need to tap on the eraser to erase documents. On the S Pen itself, you see that button, you hold on that button, and that's an example of what you're not meant to do. So you may have noticed uh, what I was trying to say is if you hold down uh, this button here, it will bring up the eraser tool. However, you can see it said it brought up the camera. The reason why is because the S Pen has to be decently close to the actual tablet itself for that to work. You can see now it's showing up the eraser. If I click and release, you can see there, the S Pen actually has to be close if it's too far. Uh, I've never really had this uh, mistake, you know, when I'm actually taking notes, but of course I'm, you know, recording the video. So yeah, you do need to make sure you are close and then you can see, you make the note hold down on the button and erase. And it really is intuitive. Uh, I do think in some ways this is actually better than the Apple Pencil's double tap to change because sometimes the double tap doesn't register. Uh, I, do, I do think though the physical button, uh, you do need to, it's a bit of a learning curve to actually get the right positioning. Uh, but once you do get the positioning, everything is great. Then you have the uh, text tool here. So you just double tap and it will create a brand new text field. You see the uh, side here, this is where you can change everything. And if you just grab the borders, I accidentally screwed up there, so I lost my text note. If you grab the borders, you can see you can move this around as well. And of course, you can type, enter, and you just minimize here. Tap on the empty space, and you're good to go. Double tap again uh, inside of the uh, box, and you can edit the text right here. So I'm going to personally do, so I'm just going to remove all this text. And I'm just going to go like that. Tap on the empty space, and you can now see the uh, text box has been removed. 
Then we have the select tool here. So all we need to do is just select an area like so. So what this is going to do is it's going to grab all this stuff right here. So you have all these options and uh, what you can do with the pen itself is you can use it. It's a bit glitchy. So you took me two attempts there, but you can see I can use it to move the text around. So let's say I was writing and I was like this. And then I was like that by accident. If I wanted to move this O next to everything else, I will just select. Takes two attempts. Move. Just like that, we're good to go. If I wanted to move the text, select everything. Drag. Just like that. So then you have the uh, no S Pen mode here. So what this does, it just means that you can navigate the um, you know, the application with the S Pen uh, without you know having you know any drawings or select tools made. If you want to get out of this mode, you just select another mode and just like that you are good to go. Now we have this uh, shape option here. So if it's uh, grayed out like this, it's not on, you tap on it to turn it on. So what this means is every drawing you do will be recognized as a shape. So if I draw a circle, you can see it will make a nice and perfect circle. Let's do a um, parallelogram. It looks a bit like more like a rhombus, but I'm sure I didn't do each side perfectly. So you can see it drew a parallelogram here. Let's do a triangle. And I <laughs> kind of screwed that one up. Let's try that one more time. And oh my, I'm not the... Uh, the best artist, but there you go, you can see it does draw a triangle right here. So turn it off, then we have the share feature. So you can share the current page, all pages, all selected pages, and you can share that to social media or to the files app. Let's say you wanna put it on an external SSD, you can do that as well. And then you have the pages here. So what you may notice is there's only one page, right? And if you tap on edit, you can see the only option is to duplicate a page. However, what if you just wanna create a brand new page outright? So if you have one page only, you can either swipe, uh, to the left or swipe to the right and then you just tap on add a new page right here you can also add from a template photo import and uh, document scan so we'll just tap on add a new page it will use the presets as you used earlier and you can see in order to go through each page you have to swipe left or swipe right if you swipe to where there is no page it will ask you of course to create a new one and another thing as well so if you tap on here you can tap between both pages like so. Note Shelf is a great note taking application. However, for me, what I did personally is I did switch over to uh, Samsung Notes. And so we're gonna take a look at that now. So let's move over to Samsung Notes here. So let's just open up uh, the Notes application. And this is the uh, application, which is pretty darn decent. Uh, you know, it does have some pros and cons compared to, um, uh, you know, the regular uh, Note Shelf application. I did an entire test uh, using this application here, you can see that is the uh, test and it keeps on uh, going. But yeah, I think it ends here, but you can see I have used this uh, to, you know, take notes. And so when you first open up the application, you want to make sure the triple lines is selected. So you have all notes, shared notes, recycle bin and folder. So everything here is self-explanatory. But if you do want to have each subject, you know, in a folder, you just tap on manage folder here and you create a new folder. So let's, let's do that together. Create folder. And we'll just do test spelt it wrong you can choose the folder color you tap on add tap into that folder and you can see so you can create another folder you can rename it delete and change the folder color so let's go back let's tap on that folder and you can see let's say this is a subject you can just tap on the create note here you can also do that in the all notes area you can see the create note here uh, option here is available so let's tap on create note and you can see it does give you a step-by-step -step instruction, but I don't need to follow that because I've used this app before and let's get right into it. So right now it's going to bring you into the uh, uh, notes application. And so I don't know for sure if you're going to have, you can see here, I already have like these uh, these outlines here. I'm not 100% sure if you would also get those. And so what we need to do is we just tap on the triple lines here, page template, make sure if the default is set like this and you don't have any uh, background, triple lines, page template and you set this to so you have a uh, lines and guys having lines just helps so that your text that you write is straight or the notes even you write is straight and then we'll tap on the triple lines background color and you can change uh change the color here so that just changes the color of the background i do recommend you have that at white however of course you can do whatever you want now these other stuff you can mess around with personally i would recommend you don't it's not really necessary and so in order to take notes you can see you do have the tool here and we have the pen tool. You can change which brush uh, type you have. This is changes the size of the brush. So you see, large size. And if we reduce it, we have the uh, small size here. So I personally wrote in a size 12, if you're wondering. 
and then you, if we tap on it again you can see so you can change the uh, color that you're writing with as well you tap on that and you can choose you know the exact hex values of the color if you would like now you also have the option for no matter how much pressure you put on the screen you can see the uh, stroke size is the same and then you have a pressure sensitive one so keep in mind guys this s pen it uh, focuses here this s pen you can't like you know you know how when you have like a regular pencil and it's really large and if you go on the sides here you know everything's like really thick and if you go like here it's really thin this is only pressure sensitive so low pressure to high pressure i don't know if you can really tell that much low pressure high pressure it's it's it, i'm not doing it very well but it does work at the end of the day and then we have this tool right here this is the highlights tool so if you want to highlight your text tap on it and you can so you can change the type of highlighter the size and this right here is the opacity and you also have the color here as well and we have the eraser tool so this will erase stuff now you don't really want you never want to be tapping on the eraser tool instead bring your uh, s pen near to the tablet and then you can hold down this button see that button you hold it down and it will automatically bring up the eraser you can see here even though the brush is selected boom just like that it's erasing now if you bring it too far away it may bring up the camera app let's see here it actually doesn't so a note shelf it does i guess that's poor optimization oh there we go you can see it'll bring up the camera app so when you're holding down this button make sure you hold it down near the tablet if you're too far away the camera app does load up then we have the select tool so you just select the text and you can see you have all these options here or you can just move this around like so and then the brush types are the brush colors these are just for a quick change of course you can change them inside of here as well and then you have the brush thickness here so you can change that of course one thin and if we tap on it 100 thick again guys you can change the thickness inside of here as well then you have the undo tool so undo stuff redo tool redo stuff and then you have the text feature here so if we tap on done what this does is you write out or top you know how do you say handwrite the stuff so it will just do hello and you can see it types it out as text you may want to use it, you may not want to use it. You do have all these options here, you know, to backspace, all that good stuff. I'm not going to use it. And then you also have this tool right here. This essentially rotates your text. So we tap on it, you can see. It's hard to show. It's got like this. You can see the text is being rotated. I've never personally understood the use of this tool. However, it exists if you do want it. And then, of course, you do have this right here. So if you have any text written out, so if we just write some text here, like so, and use this tool. Clearly my handwriting isn't good enough, but it'll recognize any text you have written out and convert it into, you know, keyboard text. And we have this tool right here. So this tool changes the current color of the text. So let's say I want, you know, blue like this. Just highlight the text you want to change. And you can see it does change the color. Now we will also change the size as well. So if I want to thicken my text, you can see it's a pretty darn cool feature this, this this is only stuff samsung would offer so then you have this tool right here this is the magnifying tool so this is used to make everything perfect you can see uh i have this magnified view and this is writing whatever is here so i'm going to reduce the size of this so let's go like 19 you can see so you can use that to make everything perfect when you're writing you may want to use this you may not want to use this and then you have the shape tool so when you tap on it when you draw a shape it's going to make the shape look perfect so let's say i draw a triangle it didn't work there you go you see it took a bit of time but it actually draws out a proper triangle let's do a circle and you can see it draws out a circle all that good stuff and then you have the lock tool so you can see canvas is locked so and that's self-explanatory and you need to use two fingers to scroll of course you can unselect that and if you do use the uh, tool uh, for shapes make sure you unselect that one as well when you are done then you have this tool right here so this allows you to change the title uh, of your work then you have the attachments you can uh, insert stuff an image uh, you know camera picture scan pdf document voice recording all that good stuff you can mess around with that then you have the triple lines and you have the share tool here as well so here's the deal right you can see uh, the page size is you know limited so how do we change the page size well all we need to do is we just need to keep on drawing so if we just draw here you can see it does give me extra page space so on the bottom here one more time and you can see it will increase the total page of the space so you can't manually add pages it's just an infinite scrolling like so 
And um, yeah, so let's just make a title for this. Let's do JJJ. Go back. Let's go back. You can see that is my work right here. So depending on which type of guy you are, or girl, I uh, don't want to you know, discriminate, you may prefer the Samsung Notes app or you may prefer Note Shelf. When I was taking notes personally, I use Samsung. I, I prefer Samsung Notes. The Note Shelf is still a pretty darn decent application because your Samsung Notes is made for the Samsung devices, so I just prefer it more. Let me know what note taking application you use on your tablet, uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab, uh, in the comment section down below. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.